But yeah, 14 is a good level though. 14 is hard to get to. Like it's there's there's like you know 10 hours of time where you were like in danger of dying on the way up to there probably. So I don't even, I don't even just mean 10 hours of gameplay to get there. I mean like 10 of the hours during gameplay you were you know possibly going to die. Um, you know like not hours where you're in town or safely fighting like dangerous hours. So that, that's that's you should be proud of level 14. It was a few update ago. Oh okay. So you were you were kind of. I know back in the day, like years ago, a couple years back or whatever, um, the game had very, very little in-game content, so. That's, you know, especially if you were getting it back when there was less in-game content, then that is, a, you know, a good achievement. You pretty much, like, beat the game at that point on, on permadeath. And that is, of course, the goal. Yeah, Bryn wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. That's the uh, the goal for, for me. I want to beat... Essentially, I say beat the game. I want to beat both the, the the bosses on permadeath. I don't think I'll drop Stone Shard after that. I'll keep streaming it. I just want to... That's, like, the current goal. I might, you know, start doing goofier stuff after that. Try out really weird builds or something. Because um, my builds are probably not, like, perfect and maybe a little weird, but they're, they're meant to be good. The idea behind them is that they're meant to be good. They aren't always good, but, but I, I, I'm trying for them to be good. Okay, and this is the the toughest of the three dungeons. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's this one that's the toughest. Actually, this might just be skeletons. So, um, it's still a little tougher than the humans. So I'm gonna do my best not to die. The line of sight blocking with that rock is awesome. I didn't expect for that to work out so well. I might even do it again. Oh, I thought it would block the line of sight. You can like corner peek me though. Whatever, I was trying to get them to walk down. Oh, they were in range anyways. All right, all right. Yeah, this is going really good. This is like, something's dying up there. Like they're on fire or poisoned or something. Uh, but this is going pretty smoothly. Even when I got, like, surrounded in that last dungeon, I was able to just kind of work my way through it, so... Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna rock, just so I have time to do all my abilities. And I have a huge amount of energy drain on this character. Uh, mage is bodying the skellies. Yeah, how you doing, Omek? Great to see you. But yes, yes. Um, the, uh, the knockback and the crushing damage is, is really valuable versus them. Uh, oh yeah, I have so much energy drain. Um, this skill gives energy drain on the second hit, and then the, the armor gives energy drain if you don't move for every turn. Like, it just stacks up to five. Like, 35, five times five, seven times, I think. Um, what just does this affect stacks? Does it just stack forever? Monk Staff is a powerful weapon in T2 Crypt. Yeah, yeah. Pretty happy with the staff. When, before I found this staff, I felt weak, and then I found the staff, and then I felt strong the whole time. Um, it's, it was a very good upgrade, especially because it's rolled so well. A little armor penetration, because I have none, and then caustic damage. Like, it's, it's actually, like, amazing rolls, so I'm really happy with it. Um... I don't know what I was saying before that. I have no idea. I was like, I was going to say something that I thought was like cool or whatever. Uh, I don't know. And, oh yeah, energy drain. Um, so I, I just, I drain so much energy from just like chilling and then smacking them with this spell. I get like so much energy back. Like I'm at 59 and then I'll use what, like 10? Yeah, but at the end of this, I'll have like 80 energy or something. Okay, only 71. But, but, uh, this guy Nightbot poaching your stream? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, the Nightbot's supposed to, like, spam, like, slightly less than, than they do, and I just haven't fixed it. Um, but, but it, I, I, I like Nightbot. It, I, I, I wanna, you know, promote growth, but I don't, I didn't like having to say it audibly, so just Nightbot typing it is, I think, the, the best option for me. And I don't mind. Like, it's not like I don't like saying, you know, please follow. It's just, I feel like that interrupts the, uh, the natural speech and, you know, game and stuff, so. 
But I, I like when, when Nightbot does it for me. Why do I have all these bones? Like, why, where do they keep coming from? I'm just like a bone collector. All the other gamers are out here picking up golden teeth and stuff. You know, golden candles, nice weapons. Nah, nah, nah. It's the rib cages and the pelvic bones that I'm after. No, I don't know why I picked those up. It must have just been a misclick at some point. Yeah, I really, I'm very happy with the uh, energy drain. Um, and then, of course, I have vitality, so I have, like, a larger pool of energy to begin with. Oh, I should have slept when I went to town. I forgot because I'm, like, maging. I get so tired. Okay. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and take dash. Um, on the next two, I know I mentioned earlier, I was considering it, like I was taking, I was going to take these, I'm going to take Dash. Toadie reminded me that skill existed. <laughs> um, I was just like, I kind of forgot it. Um, so I will, I will be dashing soon enough. Can you drop a cheesy one-liner? You got rocked at the boss kill? I will, I will, I will do that. The other day when I threw a net on a boss, I was like, you got netted. Or I think I said, get netted. <laughs> so I absolutely am down for the cheesy one-liners. I'm, I'm a fan of cheesy one-liners. Was that, was he in the rock? Was this guy in the rock? Did anyone see that? I think he was in the rock. Like, I think he was literally in the rock. Also, there's just an endless, like, number of skeletons spawning. Can you calm down? Oh, come on. Can I land a hit? Okay. Oh, I, should, I did. I meant to walk forward. I picked that up. Um, rusty sword. How are the survival skills working out if it makes sense with Hunger Curse like you have, I guess? I really like these two in general. So I, th I think these are like like huge quality of life. Um, so this just makes, of course, your um, like your your body part doesn't get as damaged as much. Or your health doesn't go down by the damage. Um, and like whatever, like other stuff. Uh, but the fatigue resistance is also like a secret helper. Because I think I'm pretty sure fatigue resistance helps with casting the fatigue you get from casting spells. Because there's fatigue resistance here. So I assume that the fatigue generated from spell casting gets knocked down as well. Um, but they're just they're just good quality of life to maintain vigor and mor uh, morale and sanity. Um, the pain change and intoxication change are fine. But just with these two up, I always have 100 morale and sanity. Well, if, I've, if I was good and I went to sleep, I would. Um, so I, I value those skills a lot more than the average player, I think. Um, but I think, I think maybe... Yeah, I know casting spells make you sleepy. I just wasn't sure if the fatigue resistance stat affected the rate at which that applied. Um, but I believe it does. But I, th I think maybe maybe the uh, player base undervalues these two stats a little. It's, it's, it's not like a lot of combat power, but the quality of life you get out of it is really, really valuable in my opinion. Um, and then, of course, just not, not being in pain for five more percent or not being in, like, you know, life-threatening pain for five more percent can be... You know, it's hard to notice, but that can be a game changer. Not fumbling for, for one more turn might be the difference that they, you need to, to finish the fight. Um, so I value them pretty highly. I took them on my last Yana build, my, my full caster, and I was very happy with them. Oh, there's someone coming down. If it's a lot of people, I'll be sad. Oh, it's a rat and a skelly. That's fine. A rat in a mage. A rat in a cage. Okay. There's gonna be a secret room right here. Oh, there can't be. This is a room. I was like, there's gonna be a secret room. Next, like, opening into the real room.
Okay, and then this this must be a two floor. I haven't found a single ritual, and I've done like like so much of the dungeon. Like it must be a two floor, or maybe I'm just missing them. Like just just barely not seeing them. Um, but I'll go I'll go home and go to sleep before I do the second floor. Fix my gear, maybe. Ah, it's not. Oh, the helmet. Oh, cause I just keep getting smacked in the head. This helmet's worth a lot too. That's gonna be annoying to like have to fix an expensive piece of gear so frequently. I might uh, I might take it off. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. And we'll we'll, uh, we'll go over here. We'll just go to the closest one. We've got some people here. I, as mentioned, I've checked the viewer count. I normally never, never do that. Um, savage parts with a perk and repair it yourself. That's true. I could, I could do that. Um, I've just really stretched for points on this build. But, um, but yeah. So we have some people here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remind everyone slash like keep announcing. Uh, in two weeks' time. So it's like, what is it today? It's the, it's the third, on like the, the seventeenth or something. Uh. In two weeks time, whatever, it doesn't really matter the exact date. I'm gonna make my schedule a little earlier. We're gonna start it at 9 a.m. Central instead of 11 a.m. Central, and we'll end at 5 p.m. Central instead of 7 p.m. Central. So, two weeks from now, get, get here earlier, please. Um, it's just, I think that'll work out better for everybody. I did a, a poll in the Discord, and it was pretty overwhelmingly positive. Like, yes, this change would be appreciated. And I, I would prefer it like that as well, I think, so. I'm just gonna boulder. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just a rat, that's fine. But yeah, so two weeks two weeks from now, we're having an earlier start. Are you pogged about that, Niata? Are you happy with the earlier start? Or are you pogging about something else? If it's about the early start, that would be that would be awesome for me. Is he gonna bleed? Oh, he he like healed up from the the trap. He's only at ninety four percent. I didn't mean bleed. I like they, he's a he's a zombie. Of course he's not bleeding. Um. The early streams. Oh, let's go. I do know it's late for a lot of people. Um. And nine a.m. Central Time will be probably the earliest I want to do it. Um. On the west coast of America, that's 7 a.m. time. So it would uh, any earlier than that, and it would be really like difficult for any west coast viewers to main. You know, not really difficult, but it's not like I expect people to get up at 6 a.m. to watch my stream. Those skills give you a lot of way to describe mitigation pain immunity. I think it, I think too used to doing that. Too want to take them. I think too used to doing that. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah. They're. 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 Um. Early start should be good for me though. I'm not sure what I'll be doing two weeks old. Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. Um, and it's not just a temporary. Like it'll just be permanent here, here. Um, or at least you know as permanent as as you know my plans are. But um, but yeah, those skills maybe aren't necessary, but I, I think they're I think they're a little more valuable than a lot of people think. Um, so I like them. I like the uh, the two survival points, and plus this other skill. Like when I get it unlocked, I think this is fine. Um, having crit chance and giving them negative accuracy is, you know, fine. So, uh, and then I walk on a lot of traps. So that, that one in particular for me is, is useful. That, that one note is, is probably more powerful for me than most other people. So I step on like at least a trap a day. That's just, that's just what it is. Stone Shard would make an epic Twitch plays come to think of it. That would be funny. That would be a hilarious thing. Just Twitch, just completely controlling a Stone Shard character. I mean, we've seen, didn't Twitch plays win like a Nuzlocke in Pokemon? Nuzlocks are pretty tough. Like I've, I've tried to do a, a couple different Nuzlocke challenges and I've never beat the Elite Four. Um, like they're, they're just tough. So the Twitch plays can, can put in work sometimes. That would be funny though. I, I would, I would, I would hop in a Twitch plays Stone Shard channel and, and spam what I think is the right move. It would be so slow though, because every turn, 
like you know going through a dungeon probably takes like a thousand turns um so i don't, I don't know if it would be as entertaining in practice but but it's a good idea like that's i had never considered it and as soon as you said it i was like i would join i'd be there so it's definitely a good idea I need to sip on some water, so I'm gonna do that. Wait, what do you mean? Where's the, oh, there's more to the dungeon. I was like, what do you mean there's, there's, there's nothing here? Um, yeah, I'm gonna sip some water. Okay. There's the stairs, that's what I was looking for. Um, I'll clear the first floor though. Cause yeah, I'm, get, I'm actually getting really tired. Um, I don't wanna hit the second level of tiredness. I, uh, I'm not going to cast as many spells finishing this out, just so I can do my best to avoid the, the second level of tiredness. I don't know what it does, but might as well try to avoid it, you know? No reason just becoming exhausted for, for like, one, one more fight. <clears throat> well, let's go. I got the level. I didn't think I would. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take dash, as mentioned. Um, well, I can't take it this turn, but I'm going to start working towards it. So maybe maybe you, if you're like good enough, you can fight the troll without dash, but I, I am not good enough. Fly, you're not leather. Are, you are leather. Let's go. Um, so I was able to repair it a little. Sheath. I feel like this used to be worth like like literally over twice as much. How, how the mighty have fallen. There's a lot of enemies here. Okay, looks like there's a door that they can't get through, so that's better. I thought it was all gonna, they were all gonna like, you know, pile in. Only two up here, I think. Oh, okay, never mind. There's like four. Um, yeah, sword emote. That's like the only time anyone's ever used that emote. That's like my worst emote. Um, I wish, I wish it was better. And also, it's the, I didn't realize this, it's the same angle as the moderator sword. It's like, I thats I literally just made the moderator sword as an emote. How you doing, Sola? It's great to see ya. Great to see ya. Hope you're having a lovely day. Mr. Zombie, can you just go down? All right, all right, all right. I'm in Dallas on vacation. Let's go, enjoy your vacation. Um, I've been to Dallas like quite a few times in my life. It's a, it's a good city. That is not the, the city I live in, but I'm, I'm in Texas. And enjoy your time. Have you, are you from, uh, I, I might've asked you this before. Are you from the States? Or are you like visiting from another nation? I, w I would, uh, I'd love to maybe give you a recommendation or two if you'd like it. I mean, I can't. Hey, Robin Cun, how you doing? And if I'm saying that wrong, let me know. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, Robin, there's, uh, I like to say there's no back seating in this channel because you're welcome into the front seat. Um, but seriously, any questions, suggestions, whatever you'd like, I will do my best to listen and respond or, you know, take the suggestion. Um, but thank you for the follow. It means so much. We're we're growing and growing every day. When I when I get new followers, it's a, a really cool moment for me. So hope you're enjoying the content. Oh, I live in Texas in the west corner. Oh, okay. Um, I grew up back west. I grew up in West Texas. So um, you might even know the town I grew up in. Uh, I grew up in a, a big a big football town, but it wasn't like a city. It was just a small town. Uh, please don't type it if you do know Sola, but but I, I, I might have given it away. Used to play about angry dying. Yeah, that happens. Um, 
it uh you do you do die a lot in this game so uh i could see i could see not wanting to continue with that but i hope you're enjoying watching uh yeah i don't i don't get too mad when i die so there will be no rage but i won't have you don't worry okay i'm in dallas for dream hack i am i didn't know that was in dallas i didn't even know they did dream hack anymore you hungry yeah i just don't want to eat my pocket ham my character is like always hungry because of a curse i have um i should have i, I should have brought like a, a smaller meal with me i normally do that like a, just a, a chunk of meat got a lot of updates oh yeah if you if you haven't played this game in a while it's it, it's slowly but consistently updated it had an update really recently actually um on like the 16th or something of last month i didn't realize it was a new month already when i said that i thought we were still in the old month um i mean of course i, I did realize i just kind of forgot um but yeah it's good stuff you're still big i'm here because my girlfriend loves csgo sucks there's no stone shard booths yeah i mean it's like they're a smaller european company how are they you know I, I wouldn't really expect them to be you know at dreamhack dallas but uh but yeah that's cool your girlfriend loves cs are are you and uh are you and, and they uh pretty excited for cs2 or are you just going to stick with CSGO? Or will they stick with CSGO? Um, and I'll just sleep. I'll sleep first. That's not where you sleep. That's breaking into someone's home. Instead of another magic I used to play, it was Stone, Fire, Electro, and that's all. Nope, still Stone, Fire, and Electromancy. Uh, Geomancy, Pyromancy, Electromancy. There's Magic Mastery. Um, uh, I don't know if this was added after the magic was. I think it was, though. But the, uh, the most recent update added this skill tree, Armored Combat, and it reworked the ranged weapons and shields and uh, some other stuff, a lot of other stuff. Um, the, most recent, uh, the most recent update, in my opinion, was very good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Very excited we didn't get the, bat the beta, sadly, but can't wait till it comes out. Yeah, the beta, I think, was a little hard to get from my understanding. The No Cryo or other... Yeah, Sag. Yeah, I wish... I wish they had more of them. I'm, I'm excited for uh, Chronomancy in particular. Um, still not updated. I don't know what you mean, Robin. Um, oh, you mean like the, the it hasn't been updated to add those into the game yet? Not yet. Not yet. Eventually, but not yet. Um, yeah, uh, when does the game come out, Sola? Isn't it pretty soon? Like a couple weeks or something? So I feel like the beta's been like a long time. I, I've never played CSGO. I've played Valorant, um, but I've watched some CSGO tournaments. They're always really good. I like watching them. They're so easy to watch. If you don't know anything about the game, it's like, it's, you know, terrorists versus counter-terrorists. They defuse the bomb. Like, it, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it, it explains itself, so it's easy to hop into. I always thought that that was a, a nice thing about watching CSGO esports is you can invite someone who, like, isn't even in interested in games and they could enjoy their time. Cause it's like it's so watchable you know if you're like hey do you want to watch league of legends world's championship if they don't know video games it's just like okay there's a bunch of pixels and colors on the screen that mean nothing to me but you know if you don't know video games you can still be like cs2 is a it's a shooter they're they're, they're, they're you know it's a, a bomb defusal group um cs2 is coming out this summer oh whoa okay no exact date but very soon okay well hopefully hopefully it's in like a week for you hopefully valve surprise drops it like tonight I don't know if that's Valve's type of uh, release. I don't know if they do like surprise drops. Or if, it, I mean, I, you know, assume there's gonna be a lot of marketing or whatever. I'm, I'm shocked I was able to fix all that with what I had. I, I thought I would have to get more money, but I was able to do it. Okay, but yeah, see my morale and vigor are almost, or my morale and sanity, excuse me, are almost up to 100. And then it's so nice looking at the vigor stat, and it just, like, changes everything. Vigor just adds, like, it's just positive every possible way. Um, I like looking at that, so I, I love those stats. I think they're good. Uh, fix my staff, good sir. And then I'll sell this ring, and I will get gone. Are you liking the staves? Pretty good. Um, I was saying this earlier. Before I found this weapon... I thought I was a little weak, but now that I have this weapon, the builds are really coming together. Uh, and there's another one here, uh, but I'm liking it a lot. This It's enchanted really well, but even without the enchants, I think it would have been a, a nice upgrade. Um, those Xbox, the Halo drops hit different. They did. They did. 
if, if you don't know where you were when Halo 3 or Halo 2 came out, then you're like not a, a gamer of my generation. Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3, those were like absolute monsters. And the, 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 um, the advertisement, I was so like, they got me, they, you know, they boomed me, um, with the, I was so hyped for the, the Halo 3 advertisements that were like, like a, like a big story and stuff. I just, I don't know. I remember it. I remember the Halo or Master Chief, like s smashing into the ground. I think that was for a different game, maybe. Um, and there's like a protective shield around him and then he takes off. I just, I, I, they were good. They were good stuff. The original Halo days were, were there, there was a, like a, a special time in gaming. Back when you could like lag switch people and bunny hop. I wouldn't lag switch, but I definitely, you know, you'd hop into a server and you would just be like normal and then like 8,000 ping and then normal and then 8,000 ping. And you're like, okay, someone here is cheating. This is not a normal server. Someone here is definitely just cheating. It really was Halo was my childhood. Let's go. That's awesome. Halo was kind of my childhood too. Um, my sister played Halo too. My sister really, really loved Halo. Um, I was a little bit more of a Call of Duty person, but but uh, <clears throat> never hated on the Halo though. Always loved Halo. I think it was Halo back in Halo 2. Um, I don't remember the name of the map, but there was one map. You'd get the... The Needler, you'd run up to the top of the map and get, um, uh, you'd get, uh, the, the overshield at the top of the map, run around with the Needler and just kill people overshielded up. It was so great. Yeah, split screen online multiplayer. Exactly. Yes, yes. My sister and I would just sit next to each other, chill and play in Halo online. That is exactly it. I'm interested to see how you fare in tier three dungeons later on and how this and other staffs fare there. I think you'll get more reliant on magic damage. I hope not, Toadie. I think I think maybe you're right as well, but I do really want to um, keep smacking. But I think I think that that's the trend that is happening. I think the magic damage will slowly be my my more available like source of combat. But I'm gonna really really try to be like a like a D and D esque monk where I I mostly just fight with with them like a quarter staff and then I use my my little bits of magic to steal my steal my body. And not S T E A L, but S T E S T E E L E, I believe. When the steel that you use when you steal, like you make something like hard, um, like you, when you harden your will, you say steal your will. Um, I guess I'll take these gloves. I don't know. This necklace is insane. This thing will sell for like nine hundred. I was talking about this the other day. Um, this might be like one of the best things. Like if your inventory could be filled with anything, a gold amulet's like some of the best stuff to fill it with. So that's great loot. Needler gang, let's go. And then back playing zombies too, like all the, the Halo Forge games or whatever. I don't know if it was called Forge back then, but like the, the, the custom games. You could play zombies. Uh, that insane game. I don't know if anyone even remembers this. You would drive a warthog um, around a giant circle, like a giant halo, and then there would be one player in the middle with like 10 snipers and 10 rocket launchers, and they would try to kill the warthog people before they got to the middle. That game I spent like countless hours playing with my friends after school. Yeah, the original zombies game mode in Halo 3. Yeah. Halo 3 kind of like it, it, it definitely hit different. You'll keep smacking, but maybe more magic damage from the weapon. Comes. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean, Toadie. Yes, that's I, I, I see what you're saying now. Yeah, so I do expect that is to be true as well. I'm hoping to find a like a, a proper staff, like a one of the good ones from the Brin, the mage shop that deal a large amount of LE damage. Or I could get really lucky and get an artifact staff, but probably not. Um, but those those old Halo games were so fun. I, I haven't played the newest one at all, so I can't comment on it, but Shoddy Snipes on a Factory? Was the map called Factory, where you would always play Shoddy Snipes on? Um, that was It was so fun. It was, it was just a good time. I was questioning how you're doing with your sickness. Hope you feel better. Got to save my battery for the rest of the day. See ya. Hey, see ya, Sola. Thanks for popping in. It was great chatting with you. It really was. It was wonderful hanging out and chat. Have a wonderful day. Save that battery. Stay healthy. I'll see you around. Hey, everybody. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.